We, we made, made it to Dubrovnik! Dubrovnik. Subscribe to follow along. So we arrived in Dubrovnik yesterday after a crazy travel day. This way, I think it's 1.53 in the morning. Oh, I'm still tired, obviously. It is 4.45. It's a bit stressful, and we both have to pee. So we've kind of just been taking it easy, but we're really excited to go explore. Yesterday, we checked into our Airbnb, and it was gorgeous. Amazing Airbnb. It's nice to be in a place with a bed and a shower. Like crazy. So here's a quick Airbnb tour because this is what it looked like when we arrived. Welcome to our Airbnb. We really wanted to include this in our video because it's amazing. It's right downtown Dubrovnik, and it's very like cute, romantic Renaissance vibe. So this is our bedroom. We've got this beautiful bed. Look at this cute furniture. There's also outlets like literally everywhere and this cute desk. Oh, I didn't I decide, that. These gorgeous windows, so the lighting in here is really, really nice. Then you come over here, there's this beautiful wardrobe shelf thing. We've already got stuff in the drawers. Dresser, thank you. <laughs> A huge TV, AC. We came in here, it's really hot outside and it was like the perfect temperature. And then we're not done there. You come over here and it's like your own private little nook. There's this beautiful artwork. We're totally gonna have morning coffee sitting right here because you open this closet and there's a full-on fridge, an espresso maker, coffee cups, tea, coffee, and instant coffee, and a kettle, and they gave us wine glasses and a corkscrew, so we're definitely gonna have to buy some wine and drink it in this beautiful place. A lovely, like, wardrobe-esque thing. And Keith and I already actually washed our dirty clothes, so they're drying right here. Classic long-term travelers. And we're not done the tour yet because we have the most beautiful little bathroom. The lighting in here is gorgeous. There's this beautiful children's artwork of Dubrovnik. Mirrors on mirrors, a shower with water pressure that is nice, and towels, a place for our toothbrush, even a hair dryer for Keith. Oh, I can't get over this place, you guys. A if you're plus. in Dubrovnik, like I 10 out of 10 recommend this because we are right downtown. Like we've like never stayed this close to downtown. Ow. Whoa. <laughs> I'm really like excited. Whoa. Anyways, but that being said, it's been almost like 19 hours of travel. So we are going to take a rest in this beautiful bed. So beautiful and romantic, this place. So now, finally, let's go explore these streets. Yeah. We're just gonna walk up a random street because it's so beautiful. Look at this. This may be the most elaborate, prettiest medieval city, like, I think Ever. that exists out it's there. It's insane. We're just starting walking around. Oh my goodness. Every corner is beautiful. Like, you turn to a different street and you're like, I can't be And it's and just it's so easy to imagine what it would have been like in the Renaissance here, or before that. So what are you doing, Keith? We need to find the entrance to the castle walls. Hold up. This so one? We can see there's people up there. But we we need to get there. don't know. You can't get in through this way, although you'd think that you would. This way, Devin. Alright. Like Devin said, every corner is beautiful, but goal right now, find a vantage point. Update. We've yeah, accidentally yeah. left the city. Yeah. There's the wall. There's the moat. There's a parking lot now. Beautiful though, it's really, really, really spectacular. We're on like the out an outside wall, but we want to get to the upper wall. But we'll just keep walking. Just and keep see walking, walking around the whole thing. Get up the walls, so we can get a vantage point of the city. We're going back in. Hopefully, we can find the walls. As we said, we got here yesterday, and last night we did go get takeout and a little had picnic dinner, right, right in the harbor. On the harbor that you can see on the other side. Walked here. on the wall. And well, that harbor wall. So magical. Yeah, so it is. Magical. It's stunning here. But we really want to find that wall. Yes. All the all the entrances seem to be closed up so we far. Do. So well, we're gonna keep looking. I think it's pretty obvious. I think it's this way. Just keep looking. Okay, but keep how up do there. we get there? That's my point. We don't know how to get there. I've seen people, <laughs> but we just need to get there. 
And here there's a city map of the sites of damage caused by aggression on Dubrovnik by the Yugoslav army, the Serbs, and the Montenegro. Roofs were destroyed, hits on direct pavement, places were burnt down. This place took a beating in the early 90s. We're in the main square. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous, but we're gonna keep going to find this wall and do the main square later. Dubrovnik Pass. That seems promising. Stairs of the Dominican Monastery will be the gate and the entrance. So um, we got some help. She told us to turn around and to go where we just came from. <laughs> this is amazing and it's pretty cool. We got to go outside and we're back inside to the main square, the walking street. It is busy as can be, by the way. Dubrovnik is known for its tourists as well as its medieval walls and history. Did you find it? This is it. Yes. Yes. Two hundred and fifty per person. That's forty bucks. Yeah. Canadian each. Is it worth literally a night in a hotel? Ugh. I don't no. know. No. No. We're gonna just walk up the mountain and get a viewpoint. This is it. This is the castle wall. Let's take it in while you can. I'm sorry <laughs> if a lot of you are looking forward to that because we looked for it for so long, but we didn't realize it was gonna be forty-three dollars each. And for some of you, that you might be like, that's nothing, but for us, that's like a lot of money. I mean, that's that's be yeah, a hotel room, depending where you're at, and for, for two people, that's a hotel room for sure. And yes, coming into six, seven months into our travels, we... Well, that's <laughs> fine. We can get but a better okay. lookout. We're gonna go find a lookout. The rest of Dubrovnik, that's not part of the old town, is on the hill. We can go up that hill, find a good lookout of Dubrovnik. So let's go do that. We're outside of Old Town, going up. It's gonna be a sweaty one. It's also very humid here in Croatia. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, you can take the funicular up, that's an option. Or you're gonna walk all the way up. Quick break for some water, and holy smokes, the views are gonna be worth it. Already, it's gorgeous up here. Totally worth the hike. That's some really good water, oh my god. Can I have some? Mm -hmm. Feel the heat. We made it to the top. There's a busy road behind us, but it is totally worth it. So, let's show you the view. Yeah! You deserve it. Okay, so before we went out on this adventure today, we watched a quick Rick Steves video, and we learned that if you look at the tiles behind us, some of them are discolored and others are really orange. And the orange ones are Our actually new newer ones. ones. Yeah, because of the bombings in 1991 and 1992. So they had to replace a lot of the roofs, and that's how you can tell which ones are the old roofs versus the new, which is really neat. Yeah. So we decided to head back down. We spent quite a bit of time up at the viewpoint, and if you want to go to that viewpoint, we found it on Google Maps. It was called... Old Town Viewpoint. There you go. So super Pretty easy to find it. Bit of a hike walk. up, a climb, not a hike, yeah. a climb, but uh, easy. And now we have gorgeous views on the way down and some nice easy stairs. I just made a stop at the local grocery store, catching up on some yogurt and energy. Wow, we're both pretty, like hung so pretty yeah. hungry. Yeah, yeah. Like what the heck? Continuing our walk down, we just found another beautiful square, and as you saw, there's kayaking, which is so cool. So now we got a bag full of groceries, though, that we got to go put in our fridge. So we're gonna head back through Old Town and back to our place. We made it out of the touristy area. Man, it's actually like really, really busy. It's very busy. Quite busy. There's a lot of people here, but understandably why. Yeah, no, it's a stunning place. This bed is so comfortable. It's ridiculous. So, it's the next day, and it turns out we were a lot more tired than we thought. Yeah, dude, we fell asleep eventually and just called the night, had yep. dinner, like a little takeout salad. And nice. then fell asleep so early, but it's the next day, and we have some more exploring of Dubrovnik. To do. We dropped our bags off and now we are free to roam. What's the plan? Uh, lunch in the harbor? Mm hmm. Uh, that's beautiful. Gelato? Yes, because uh, we need to have that. There might be some cheap oysters nearby because there's good seafood here, but prices are high. And then just walk around the old town. See, apparently there's like, I haven't watched Game of Thrones, but some Game of Thrones staircase that we're going to go see and just, mm -hmm. just keep checking out the town before walking outside of the old city to a different port. Which is where we're meeting, well, the next thing that we're doing. Uh, which is going to be exciting. Okay, so let's get started. So we just got out of the shade and it is so boiling hot, so we need to put on some sunscreen. But here's the main square of Dubrovnik. It's quite beautiful. Sunscreen time. 
all sunscreened up and ready to keep going. We made it to the harbor now for a nice romantic walk and hopefully a park bench will open up for us to eat lunch on. We got a bench, Hooray! lucky, second I, time. I was thinking we weren't gonna go in, so this is awesome. This time we have a different view though. Our picnic when we got here, we're sitting over here, and it was dark, seeing it during the day is different. It's all beautiful. these boats moving, all these people walking by. And so of course that means we got stuff at the grocery store yesterday, so we're gonna make some sandwiches now, we'll picnic here. There's a little beach here at the harbor. This is beautiful. I wish we had our bathing There's a little port and some crazy music. <laughs> Very dramatic music. Some, yeah, nice. some epic music here. Cruises in the backdrop, people kayaking. Woo! It's a very pretty place. Wow. I think we got pooped on <laughs> by these birds. So that's apparently good luck to get pooped on. So I think it's in my hair, so I may need to shower tonight. It's just on the top of my head. I don't see anything there, but I definitely got some sh my shirt and my yeah, arms. on our arms. Luckily we had a white. That's oh, well, right wait. Oh well, time to move. Yep. <laughs> spot to swim. I really wish we had our bathing suits with us, but they're all packed in our bags. But if you come to Dubrovnik, come to the harbor and swim because this water is so clear and it looks so nice. Well, scratch that. Oysters are 17 kuna each, which is 2.95 Canadian or like 2.50 euros. So we're just gonna get ice, ice cream instead. Sounds good? I just wanted ice cream anyway, so either way I'm excited. Go ahead, you found a spot too, didn't you? I'm gonna give this to Keith. I got coffee ice cream slash gelato and look at Keith's. I'm gonna try yours right now because it looks so good. Oh. I got strawberry chocolate and vanilla. Raspberry, I think. Sorry, raspberry, yeah. So good. Wow, we needed this. Mm -hmm. We found the stairs. They're actually really beautiful. And apparently they have significance for Game of Thrones, but I think they're just pretty. Okay, there's this little tiny hole in the wall, and there's this bar restaurant down here with this gorgeous, beautiful view. And yeah, it's called the Hole in the Hole. And that's what it's called, it's so cute! We don't have time actually to go here because we gotta keep moving, but it's really beautiful. So, a lot of Dubrovnik is these really cute little narrow streets that go up and down staircases and ramps. It's just fun getting lost in them. Got our stuff back. We're just taking a quick breather in the lobby of our old place before we hike 30 minutes in this heat. I don't know if you can see the sweat building already on my forehead. It's gonna be great. Ready? We are ready to hike. Woo! -hoo! Got a 40 minute walk to the port. Yeah. Let's do it. Restaurants have died down a bit post lunch. It is now siesta time, I think. And we're walking. Sometimes Google Maps says mostly flat for elevation, but I, knowing Google Maps, know the one mistake is that. It is not mostly flat. It's like it's mostly flat, we'll be fine. It's not. It's not good with that yet. It'll improve. As hot as this walk is, there's some really spectacular views here on the road. It's insane. Wow. Bench, 
Heavy. Ah, uh, bench in the shade. Oh, take the bags off. All right. Water bag. Oh, the water bag. We got about 10 minutes left until we make it. So we're going. Cheers. All right. Bag is back on, and we are keep moving. Only seven minutes left, I think. Ooh wee. Ready to go? Dark clouds coming in. Let's go. I think right, we made it. it. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, Dubrovnik, you were beautiful. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. I almost fell down this trench yesterday. Devin was like, watch your step. Like a second away from falling face first into that. that goggles are that small. What's he doing? That was funny. Looks like he's a dead body floating up. I got ice cream on the camera? Yeah. I got ice cream on my hands. Ciao, Keith and Dev. <laughs> it's like 45 degrees. I'm kidding, it's not that bad. That's all we're giving you right now. <laughs>